Yo, what's up guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back to part 24 of Introduction to C++ here on sololearn.com. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to go into my profile. Um, let's see if we can open up the course and uh, let it load. So uh, we are on multi-dimensional arrays. All this means is an array nested with inside of an array, so many different levels. So uh, a multi-dimensional array holds one or more arrays. Um, and you can declare a multi-dimensional array as follows. So uh, you give it the type of the array, what kind of data you want to store, the name of your array, uh, okay, and then the different sizes of nesting of your array. So here we've created a two-dimensional 3 by 4 integer array, okay? So what that means is that you'll have um, three rows and four columns, okay? So uh, it's going to go uh, rows first and then columns. Awesome. So type in a code to declare a two-dimensional array which has two rows. Remember, rows first and four columns. And let's, uh, my bad, let me uh, try that out. Awesome. Okay, so uh, multi-dimensional arrays may be initialized by specifying bracketed values for each row. Uh, following is an array with two rows and three columns. So uh, again, because this has two rows and three columns, we're able to declare this on the fly. Um, and so here's our first array and here's our second array. Uh, you can also write the same initialization using just one row. Okay, this is just a little bit more, uh, maybe not elegant, but a little bit more user friendly if someone else is reading your code or doing a code review. Um, but you know, you can make it a one liner. Uh, the examples are accessed by using the row index and column index of the array, right? So here this is saying, um, give, me, um, give me the second row and uh, the third value. Or, or sorry, this is declaring the array, right? And then we're saying we want this first row and uh, the second value. So what, what is that going to output to us? It's going to output 4 because it's the first array. We want index 2, so 0, 1, 2, and that should return to us 4. And it says here, the first index 0 refers to the first row. The second index 2 refers to the third element of the first row, which is 4. Awesome. So type in a code to print um, arrays elements. Uh, value to the screen, which is located at the first row, okay, and the second column, okay, so I think that's 0, 2, unless I'm wrong, uh, okay, so we got that right, second column, um, let me see, so third element, the first row, let me go back, maybe it's 1, so it's 1, awesome, yeah, so got that. A little messed up, but it's okay. So uh, arrays can contain an unlimited number of dimensions. So here's an example. You have 42 and 8, 3. So this says the example above declares a three-dimensional array of strings. Um, and as we did previously, it's possible to use index numbers to access and modify the elements. So this is pretty intense. I don't know when you necessarily need to use this in everyday development, but regardless, arrays are more than three dimensions are harder to manage. Makes sense. Okay, so um, type in a code to declare a multi-dimensional multi array with two rows and three columns and enter the value using console input for the element in the second column. Okay, so uh, the second column of the second row. Okay, so we want row uh, one, which is the second row, and uh, second column, uh, right, uh, for the element in the second column of the second row. Okay, so let me see. For the second column of second row, we got the second row, and we want the second column, so that's one. That should be right. Okay, cool. Just making sure. All uh, right, guys, so that's it for this lesson. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment. Please subscribe. It means a lot. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Take care.